So, you've got yourself a treadmill motor for whatever project you're working on, and you've decided you're going to power it with an SCR voltage controller. You go to Amazon, you go to eBay, you buy this unit right here. You follow the basic instructions that uh, I've got in other videos. You get it all hooked up, you power it on, and nothing happens. So you think, okay, I'll turn the knob. Nothing happens. You keep turning the knob. Still nothing. What the heck? Is there something wrong with this? And then all of a sudden, right about there, it comes on. Greetings, fellow DIYer, and welcome to my video. The problem is, inside this SCR voltage controller is a potentiometer. And the potentiometer that comes with this unit is way too big. But I'm going to show you what you need to know to be able to replace it with the correct one. A potentiometer is a variable resistor. What that means is, as you turn the knob, the amount of resistance that this component supplies changes. The potentiometer that comes in this unit is typically a 500 kiloohm potentiometer. Now, when you look on the back, you'll see 500 K. It's a common misconception that K means the type of measurement, but it's not. Ohms is the type of measurement. K just means by a factor of 1000. So if we're going to compare a 500 ohm resistor to a 500 K ohm resistor, the 500 ohm resistor is just that, 500 ohms. The 500K resistor would be 500,000 ohms. And like I said, that's typically what comes in this. And what that means is when it's all the way down, you're getting full resistance, 500,000 ohms. As you turn it, the ohmage decreases until you get to on or about zero. Now, in most cases, people will say to me, well, what potentiometer do I need? I want to get all the parts ordered and just tell me what I need. The simple answer is 120 kilo ohms to 150 kilo ohms. The problem is, if you get one that is too big, you'll have a dead spot at the beginning. If you get one that is too small, you will not be able to go to the minimum RPM. You'll be a little bit faster than the minimum RPM in your setup. The other important thing to consider is different motors require a slightly different setup, also depending on the load. So I have this set up as a bench test, and that's an okay way to do it, but the absolute best way to do it would be to put it on the machine that you're going to be driving so that the full load that this is going to see is on there, and then you can take your measurements and find out exactly what you need. So how do we measure it? How do we find out what we need? We can use this 500 kilo ohm potentiometer to figure out exactly what potentiometer will work for our system. We power it on and we begin to turn the knob until the motor comes on. We're going to go real slow. I know I'm getting close. Once we have the speed that we need, Go ahead and flip the power off, but do not touch the potentiometer. I like to take a Sharpie because it can be removed with a little rubbing alcohol or carb cleaner. And I'm now going to mark a line right there that lines up with the line on the knob so that I know that this is the homage that I need for my replacement unit. So how do we measure that? Well, the first thing we got to do is we need to take apart our SCR voltage controller so we can get to the potentiometer. I've already disconnected the power, safety first. And here we have the basic unit right here. Now, like I've said in previous videos, this is part of why I like the SCR voltage controller a little better than some of the other options because the circuit board is so small and compact. You can easily fit that into whatever power supply you're building. Going to set that off to the side. So let's see what kind of a reading we get. Now this right here is a multimeter. 
This multimeter has been beat up. I've had this for almost 20 years. I've used it for automotive wiring. I've used it for house wiring. I use it all the time. But what's important in this particular case is we need to use it for ohmage right there. So I put it on the ohm setting. So I put one to one terminal and one to the other. So once it stops, we are at 140 kilo ohms. I'm not worried about that 0.7. 140 is what we need. So if we replace this with a 150 kilo ohm unit, again, we'll have that dead spot at the beginning. If we replace this with a 120 ohm unit, we will lose some of our lowest RPM. So at the lowest setting, it'll still be faster than the slowest RPMs that this motor is capable of. So what we really need is 140 kilo ohms. Now the problem is that 140 kilo ohms could be fairly hard to find, but this disadvantage turns into an advantage because if you take two potentiometers, take one that is 120 kilo ohms, and you take another one that is 20 kilo ohms, and you wire them in series, you have now created a total resistance of 140 kilo ohms, which is exactly what we just measured as the number we needed. Now the advantage of doing that is the smaller potentiometer gives you a fine speed control and the bigger potentiometer gives you a coarse speed control. So one full turn is 120 kilo ohms and one full turn is 20 kilo ohms. So if we put this into perspective, one quarter turn on the 20 kilo ohm potentiometer is going to change the resistance by five kilo ohms. One quarter turn on a 120 kilo ohm resistor is going to change the resistance by 30 kilo ohms. That's why the coarse and fine works the way it does. That same one quarter turn is a much smaller change on the smaller potentiometer. And by doing it that way, we get the ability to really dial in our speeds. This is how I have it set up on both my mill and my lathe. So this is 150 kilo ohm potentiometer. You see that one five, the K is a little hard to read, but that's 150,000 ohms. And it's got three terminals. Now most potentiometers have three terminals. The potentiometer you take out of the SCR voltage controller will probably have two, only because one has been removed. It probably originally came from the factory with three terminals. Now the way a potentiometer works is the middle is the output. So you always use the middle one. The one on the left and the one on the right are somewhat interchangeable. Now I say somewhat for this reason. In most cases, this is the high and this is the low. So what that means is when it's turned all the way down, so counterclockwise until it stops, this is gonna be max resistance and this is gonna be minimum resistance. As I begin to turn the knob, the resistance here decreases and the resistance here increases. Now, like I said, that's how it is for most potentiometers, but I have seen some where this is the minimum and this is the maximum. And if you're not, if you don't have a meter to test it with, you can hook it up to your SCR voltage controller. And if it's backwards, then the knob will work counterclockwise. So all the way clockwise turned would be off. And then as you turn it counterclockwise, it would come on. That's if this is the low and this is the high. But in most cases, this is the high and this is the low. So for the purpose of this potentiometer in this project, we would use this one and this one. So let's say you wanna do my suggestion of running two potentiometers. Remember, the important part is that one is big and one is little. To wire them in series, assuming that this is the high and this is the high, that these potentiometers are set up the same way, all you do is the wire from the SCR comes in here. 
the wire from here goes to here and then from there we have the out back to the SCR. So that's how you wire those in series. So in the case of a 120 kilo ohm potentiometer and a 20 kilo ohm potentiometer, that will give you a combined resistance of 140 kilo ohms. And as you turn this one, it will slowly decrease it. As you turn this one, it will more quickly decrease it, giving you a fine and a coarse speed control. So I have it all put back together and I've installed the 150 kilo ohm potentiometer that I was showing you earlier. Now the reason I did that was twofold. First, 150 kilo ohms is pretty easy to find. If you only want to use the one, the 150 is going to be close enough. But the second thing that I wanted to show you is that dead spot that's going to be created. So we power it on, nothing happens, we begin turning it, and it does take a little bit. So you have just a little bit of a dead spot right at the beginning. It's not a whole lot, but it's just that little bit less sensitive that this single potentiometer will be. I hope this helps. I hope this shows you a good way to change out your potentiometer and more importantly, a way to set up coarse speed control and fine speed control. If there's something you'd like to see, please don't hesitate to put a comment down below. I'll do my best to try and accommodate you. If you like what you've seen, please click like. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.